All right, guys, so this is a question I've had with me for quite some time. I've got like a pad. I won't show you what's back here because you'll know all my secrets, but videos that I want to make. And one of them has been this very topic. What is the relationship like between Don and Dr. Mary? I don't know. Maybe you know. As always, guys, please like this video. If you like it at any point in time, smash the button, actually. Also, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you won't miss a single video, and leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out the other playlists also. I've got playlists where I'm in Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Florida, Costa Rica, Chile. It's sights, sounds, a lot of music stuff, and uh, sights, sounds, and flavors. Also, food, candy bars, meals, drinks, all sorts of stuff here at the Sites, Sounds, Flavors YouTube channel. And of course, the unfiltered section where I talk about trials. Murdoch trial, Boone trial, and this trial. So... Um, this isn't so much about the trial, but more so about some of the characters. And um, Dr. Mary Edwards, we all know, obviously. I mean, when she got up there, you couldn't help but notice Dr. Mary over her, which I thought was really weird. And uh, her podcast, her uh, mental health activism, her, her activism in the church, and, and so everything about Dr. Mary. But we also know about Dawn. We don't know that much about Dawn because Dawn didn't go on there to promote herself like her uh, colleague there, uh, her, her uh, extended family member. Although Dawn is... Darrell's mom and Dr. Mary is supposedly Darrell's grandma by the dad's side. But so I don't know. I guess that would make Dawn uh, Dr. Mary's daughter-in-law, right? And and Mary would be her mother-in-law. Uh, I don't know if Darrell's parents were married, but basically common law uh, variants of those uh, uh, relationships. But I don't know what like actual ties they had. I don't know if they ever really talk. I don't know if anybody can dig up pictures of Don, Darrell, and Mary, or much less of Don and Mary. Um, I, they, they seem to not be on the same page. And if you look at the Norman Nix interview, which I always reference because it's the only interview that I'm aware that Erica Patterson did, Erica Patterson knew who Don was, that's his mom, Darrell's mom, but she had no idea who Dr. Mary Edwards was. She had absolutely zero idea who she was. A lot of people uh, believe that Dr. Mary is, in fact, not Darrell Brooks Jr.'s grandmother, but a lot of other people I've heard not only believe it, but they say they can prove it. I don't know. Uh, but but that that withstanding, I'm curious what the relationship like uh, between those two is. Now, you know, Don did some interviews for local television, didn't really come off so well. Uh, also, um, kind of speaking to the point that the trial wasn't an isolated case. Dawn did not come out looking too good after the trial because of the cage bird and like just her whole demeanor. But then when she was away from the trial, just her and a reporter on, you know, like a sidewalk or whatever, she also didn't like come off too good there either. So a lot of people don't like Dawn, but Dawn's got a very common name. I know that, uh, look, when you do a channel such as mine, supporters of these folks come out. I have, I've tangled. Uh, tangoed, tangoed is a dance, uh, uh, tangled, uh, I've, I've tangled and I've tangoed with supporters of Dawn on the down low. Uh, the same with Dr. Mary Edwards and even with some Darrell Brooks people. Uh, I'm telling you, you don't believe me. You think I'm making this stuff up. I'm not. Ted Bundy had groupies. Gacy had groupies. Ramirez had groupies. Uh, that lunatic shooter in the Parkland case down there in South Florida, he probably is going to have groupies. They're not just people that send money to their commissary. These are people that are actually trying to get married to these monsters and want to consummate the marriages with these monsters, want to have children with these monsters. So, uh, you know, if there's people that are going to uh, DM, email a YouTuber to either tell them to stop talking about something or to talk about this or maybe talk about some promising qualities redeeming qualities, mitigating factors. Believe you me, it happens. Um, where I was going with that, though, is, is that Dawn, you know, Dawn Woods, people that support her say that, you know, maybe she's, you know, living on the down low, always looking over her shoulder, and that maybe that's why she didn't go to the trial, that we should maybe, like, you know, stop talking about her and this and that. And I, I'm not by any means blaming her, though there are people that do blame her. And she kind of has herself to blame for that, like calling the car and stolen when she figured out what was going on. That didn't really win her any friends, you know what I mean? But And that wasn't Jarrell's act, that was hers. But the point of what I'm trying to say is, 
is that if you do a Google search for Don Woods and that's all you put in the Google search, you're not going to see Don Woods to Raul Brooks Jr.'s mom. You're going to see Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. You're going to see a bunch of other people named Don Woods, none of which are her. She's a very, very common name. And so I don't think that unless people are putting in Don Woods and Gerald Brooks Jr. or Don Woods and Waukesha Christmas Parade trial, they're going to find her. I don't think that there's actually that many people that want to call her out. It may seem that way on YouTube, but in reality, I don't think she has any problem going down to the five and dime if people still use that terminology or like Walmart or or Kroger's or whatever. I don't think people really know her like that. You know what I mean? And so I don't, I have a little bit of a hard time believing that she's really like that persecuted, okay? But that being said, um, people have said that we should stop talking about her for that reason. Um, now, Dr. Mary, on the other hand, Dr. Mary is not on the down low. Dr. Mary went to the trial very much to put herself out there on Front Street uh, for her website, for her cookbook, for her podcast, for whatever else she's doing. She wanted to be very much that, you know, out there everywhere, front page, look at me, look at me person with Dr. Mary, you know, less on top of her uh, 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 place there speaking. But, you know, it's interesting because I, I would not be surprised, and I said this many, many moons ago on some of my earliest videos talking about the trial, where I said I would not be in the least bit surprised if Dr. Mary tried to reach out to Dawn as part of maybe a, a future podcast, maybe collaborating on a book, maybe something like that, because Dr. Mary and her team, and believe you me, she has a team, because unless she built that website, I don't think she built that website, uh, and she's got podcasts and she's got guests that come on. She's got intro music. There's a lot of moving parts to everything that's part of the medic ministries that Dr. Mary runs. And so to think that that is just one person and that one person being an 80 something year old old lady is, you know, come on, get real. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised in the least if people from Dr. Mary's camp reached out to or plan to reach out to, to uh, Dawn and say, look, you know, we were both on, you know, this trial, you know, whether or not, you know, that she could, you know, they could frame it like we were both going through this pain. We both have this, this sadness that we must endure, whatever angle they may come up with. But the ultimate goal is not to, you know, mourn the, the, the dead and mourn the, the, the victims. Really, it would be to collaborate on a project. I mean, let's, let's be honest. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I could see that happening one day because I think that Dr. Mary's got the resources to make that happen. Her team, they've got a website, they've got a podcast, they've got um, branding, they've got reach. The podcast isn't on YouTube. It, it's it's self-hosted. So there's no one to report it to. There's no one to bring it down. There's no third party. There's none of that. It's all, you know. And so I could see Dr. And, and, and whatever they make, they would not have to give to the families because... They're not, so that only works with Gerald Brooks Jr. It doesn't work with Dawn. It doesn't work with Dr. Mary. It should. Uh, the families could always sue. I mean, you could sue a ham sandwich in America, but it doesn't mean you're going to win. But I mean, what I'm saying is, is that I could see that. And a lot of people say, well, you know, we don't see Dawn. We don't hear Dawn. It's like Dawn doesn't exist. That could also be part of it. Let me tell you why. If Dawn was everywhere and was giving a bunch of interviews and was being seen and was writing everywhere, then if she did something with Dr. Mary, it really wouldn't be all that interesting, right? It would just be one more thing. But isn't it interesting that Dawn hasn't said anything, hasn't been seen anywhere, and it's been like that for a long time? Now, what's to say if all of a sudden she resurfaces with Dr. Mary, whether virtually or in person, doing a podcast or writing a book? or having a video series, demand's gonna go through the roof, whether you like her or you don't, just for the simple fact, she's been gone for months, maybe by the time this happens, years, and now you've got the mom and the grandma coming together, doing something related to one of the biggest trials since the O.J. Simpson trial, and maybe will be bigger than that trial. Because O.J. never, you know, Darrell didn't take the stand either, but he might as well have taken the stand because he had so many uh, speaking parts as a pro se litigant for the straw man you know, uh, that he might as well have taken the stand, you know? And so I'm just curious, you know, what you guys think the relationship is or is not or may be between Dr. Mary and Dawn. 